Well, hello and welcome back to the show, everybody. This is another episode of the All Around Growth Podcast. Today is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. Two, 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 two. And we are going to talk about entrepreneurship versus intrapreneurship. And you may be asking yourselves, what is intrapreneurship? And indeed, I asked myself that same question when I discovered that term last night, intrapreneur. We're all familiar with the word entrepreneur. We all know what that means. We all listen to people that talk about that concept a lot. But what in the hell is intrapreneur, right? So in my efforts to determine where or what this means and, and, and uh, sort of think about this entrepreneur versus entrepreneur, I performed an internet search on my browser of choice using my search engine of choice. And when I searched for entrepreneur versus intrapreneur, this is what I found. Entrepreneur versus entrepreneur, what's the difference? And we are looking at ULP, uh, University Lab Partners. And I'll read this and when I come up to the next stop sign, I'll reference something else. But entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs have similar but also different traits, objectives, and risks. If you have great ideas for businesses or products and want to convert these ideas into something tangible, you may find yourself wanting to know the difference between entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs. An entrepreneur is someone who designs and launches a new business, which means that they will take on all the rewards and risks that come with running a business. On the other hand, an entrepreneur is an individual who uses their entrepreneurial skills to create and develop a new project in the company that they already work at, which eliminates many of the risks that come with running a business as an entrepreneur. All right, well, that makes sense. And that's kind of what I was thinking this was going to involve. Now, while there are many similarities between entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs, understanding the differences between these two types of professionals should help you determine which role you wish to pursue. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. You shoulder the risks of running a business wholly or as an entrepreneur, you run projects, basically, for lack of a better term. And the whole responsibility of everything and liability and such falls on the business. All right. I think that for most of us, the path to becoming an entrepreneur starts with becoming an entrepreneur. All right. So how do you do that? Find an opportunity, right? Opportunity is everywhere. It was just a couple of days ago that we did a show titled Opportunity is Everywhere. And I shared some of my own experiences with how I not only found opportunity, capitalized opportunity, but created opportunity. And those situations are abundant. And those situations, scenarios are everywhere. And what's important with any of this entrepreneur, entrepreneur, attempts to make change in your life, understand why. 
Like what you're doing in the first place, why you're doing it in the first place. Okay, so you're not happy with your life, why? So you wanna make some change in your life, why? So you wanna homestead or whatever, why? Like what is driving all the shit that you wanna do? You know, I, I'm, I'm creating a lot of content right now. Writing, recording, videos. Um, and I'll be, un- I'll be 100% honest with you. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, anybody who claims to have a real good grasp on this life is lying unless they're talking about their faith in Christ, right? And anybody, anything beyond that, really? It's, 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 no one really knows what the fuck is going on. So we do the best we can. Sometimes we're not in a position to be the entrepreneur in our day jobs. And that's fine. Sometimes we are and we can take advantage of these various little projects that we're working on. We can take advantage of all these opportunities to express our entrepreneurial ways through our entrepreneurial opportunities. And that may not be the case with you. Maybe you just show up, punch the time clock, do the grind, work on the line, go home. That's all right, there's nothing wrong with that. As far as I can tell, those of you who are doing that and those of you who I interact with on the show are doing so because you've got an end goal in in line. There's a greater objective at hand. Good. However, this, this, this ability to be an entrepreneur is an excellent opportunity that many people squander because they allow themselves to become comfortable with the punching of the time clock, with the doing of the things, and they squander the opportunity to step up and demonstrate or at least learn some and gain some of these entrepreneurial skills. If that's the case, and if you can look back and reflect on the opportunities that were missed, the opportunities that were squandered, the opportunities that were let go of so that someone else could shoulder the responsibility because you didn't want to, that's fine. Let that shit go. It is in the past. And the more you dwell on the past, the more you will recreate it in the present. Let that shit go. It is not worth it and you are learning nothing and gaining nothing from holding on to this shit. Let it go. If you don't have the ability to do the entrepreneurial thing at your day job, then begin engaging in what it takes to learn the entrepreneurial ways outside of your day job. And if you think that you can't do it all alone, you're right. We can't do it all alone. We don't live in an era anymore where we have extended and large immediate families. Well, hell, we don't live in an era anymore where we have large immediate families and larger extended families, more often than not, we're living in this world where we're just rolling solo. A lot of us may not even have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a partner, spouse, wife, children. Maybe we're lucky if we have a dog. No matter. Let's continue. What do you do? You find a team. You build a team. 
participate in a team. Brian Sharp, a.k.a. Hotep Jesus, has brought this to my attention recently with the idea of building a team. That is what is taking place on or in Men of Order. I am using some skills and uh, in working with everybody here on this project, I am learning some of these entrepreneurial skills and watching some other people demonstrate what it takes. I'm learning from them. And a lot of people talk about the tide when they think about economies and such. And that the rising tide lifts all ships. And that's true. And when you're involved in a project, something bigger than yourself, more often than not, everyone involved on that project is the ship. Everyone who works on and improves the project lifts up all ships. Progress is made. And we do more together than we are able to do individually ourselves. Not only are we able to do more, but what it is that we do ends up being a higher quality product as well. We do better, we do more, and we do it as a team. And in the process of doing all of that, we learn what it takes in part to be a successful entrepreneur. Last but not least, as we begin to conclude the show on the final leg of the drive here this morning, one of the most important things, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, is the ability to show up day after day and be consistent with the grind, right? Because a lot of times that's how this feels. It feels like a goddamn grind. And that's okay. Not every day feels like a grind. Not every day has to be a grind. But some days will, other days won't. But guys, if you want to succeed and actually be the leader that you were born to be, you've got to take advantage of the moments where there's a bit of downtime and when you're feeling good, execute and capitalize and get the work done so that when you're not, you can rest, regroup, focus on yourself. Because all of this is all about finding the balance in life. You want to be an entrepreneur? Find a way to be an effective entrepreneur. You want to be an entrepreneur? Find a way to change your current situation. And if you're not, if you can't change your current situation or if you're unwilling to change your current situation, that's fine. But think about all of the opportunities that are everywhere. Think about what you have to gain versus what you have to lose by not doing so. All right, guys, I know that this was a little scattered this morning, kind of all over the map, but that's how it is sometimes on the show. If you like what you hear, check out the show notes. There will be links to much of what was discussed in the show in the notes. And also, if you like what you hear, I would encourage you to share the episodes on social medias, whatever you use, whatever is your social media of choice. And if you want to engage with us on social media, the ones that we are most active on 
our Telegram, which is where we have the community at t.me slash allaroundgrowth. And we are also active on Twitter, not so much on Facebook, but we are active there. And I look forward to seeing you there. I'm wondering if the computer guys are here today. I see a new vehicle, not really sure what's going on, but we'll find out. If they're not here, I've got to reach out to them so that they can get here. Because, uh, well, we got a big season ahead of us. And um, this mid-late winter is time to prepare for it. So anyways, guys, that's it for today's show. I appreciate you tuning in, and I look forward to catching you on another episode tomorrow. This is Rob Kaiser, and thank you.